Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Starship 2. Today I want to go ahead and take a second to go over talents and how to unlock talents and the benefits they give. So, we have, um, let's say we can unlock Love of Animals and we want that for Claude. The benefits of that, of course, being that when you call uh, Familiar, it'll be quicker to get your bird to come to you, which is good for saving items. And also when you call, uh, actually no, that doesn't work. No, so that's pretty much it. the only reason for love of animals. So let's try that. And notice that he has two skill points right now. You get a hundred skill points every time you unlock a talent. And the best way to unlock talents is to play orchestra, call a bird, until you unlock love of animals. There we go. Love of animals works. And now look, 102 skill points all of a sudden. So that's, you can do that for basically anything. If I want to try one more thing, let's say I want to unlock Pitch for Claude. I'll play Orchestra one more time. Go over here to Musical Talent. There we go, Sense of Rhythm unlocked. Well, not Pitch, but you can unlock both Sense of Rhythm and Pitch by playing an instrument. So now, not, so now not only is his success rate for music better, which saves you some conductor's batons, but now I got 100, you know, 200 skill points just for sitting there doing nothing. God, this is a fucking ugly song. What the hell am I listening to, Claude? You suck! Get off the stage! Anyway, so I want to go ahead and start working on uh, my metal work here for him. I'm going to have to start making some items soon enough. So today, now that we went over that, I want to go over to the third field and start over here. I went ahead and leveled up a little bit off the clock. What the? This is not the third field. Here is the third field. Yeah, I got my levels up to 70. They were at about 55 or so, which is quite a bit under leveled. So here we are at the third field now. Yikes! Yes, this is indeed the field of power, and it's probably the biggest field, I would say, out of all four. And not just that, but the enemies in here are kind of annoying. First of all, I want to take a look at how my team's doing since I leveled up. Oh, Let me show you Ripper Blast. Look at that. <laughs> look how much damage and coverage it does. Holy shit, half the map is just covered in rocks of death and destruction. So I'll start skipping battles now, but that's what Ripper Blast can do at full proficiency. And there are gorillas in this area that are really obnoxious, actually. We'll probably run into them really soon here. Here they are, and they guard switches. And if they get to the switch, it'll say like, You suck. Die now. And a little explosion or whatever will go off, and you'll be unable to get to that area. They have a whole bunch of HP, they're really obnoxious, so let's guard the switch. Oh boy. Yeah, God, Claude is a beast. Holy shit. Okay, so that was easier than I thought it would be. But you get the idea. There's a switch to the lever back there. So guard it from the evil ape. And now we can go forward. There is an Atlas ring in this area, too. Which is probably one of the better rings in the game, actually. So take notice of that and make sure you grab it in this area. It's extremely useful. Raises your attack power by about a metric fuck ton. And that is a weapon. Damn. Holy. Alright. So far, so good. I know it's on one of these ladder ledges, but I don't remember exactly where, or what ladder ledge. So it may take a little bit of effort to find out. Uh, let's see. Good. Herbal me just making sure herbal medicine's up for everybody. That comes in real handy. At here at the latest stages of the game. Anyway, we'll find that Atlas Ring soon enough. I went ahead and gave Bowman, uh, explosion pills instead of poison pills, and he's really using up his mana quickly. That may not be a good idea for right now, but whatever. 
we will get through this area. I swear it. Hmm. I guess we'll go this way. Do, 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 do. Kind of a surprise. I was expecting more gorillas. So far, so good. Alrighty. We're actually making good time in this area, despite the battles! God damn these battles. It seems as though I may have missed that Atlas ring. I'm gonna have to find that maybe off the clock. I know there's one in here, though. I'm positive. Or perhaps there's one right up here. I know it's somewhere around the ledge area. So, hopefully I haven't went past it. Come on now. Talk to me, Atlas Ring. Yeah, I think this is it. Yes! There's two bridges here, and one of them leads to the Atlas Ring. And the other one leads to the boss area. I may... Nope, I went the wrong way. Ah! I'm going to go ahead and be right back off the clock. I'll grab this Atlas Ring really quick. Do some battles, most likely. <laughs> be right back. Alright. Got my Atlas Ring. Save point up here. Boss coming up. Let me show you this Atlas Ring really quick. Where is it? Ho ho! So, basically, it raises your attack by a shitload and lowers your defense to everything. So, the cost... You know, just be careful on what bosses you want to use it on. Uh, give you a stake. No. Give you a blackberry. Since there's a boss coming up. Uh... Take that. Read a book. Teach a child how to read. Okay, somewhere along here. Now let me just... Yeah, I got lucky and went ahead and restored his MP. Hopefully I can cross this bridge without another fight. No! Fuck it, I'll just put the fight inside. There's the enemy. Kill these things really quickly. I'm okay. I'm okay? Okay, what the fuck am I talking about? I'm okay. There we go. Looks like I'll be popular with the ladies again. No, you won't be popular with the ladies again. Shut your mouth. You old fogey. Alright. Walk faster. Yikes! Shriek! You did well making it this far. Power Rangers, I'm back again. So far? That's right. I shall test your strength myself. Whoop your ass. <laughs> we'll see how cheap tricks you can withstand here. I'm gonna go ahead and beat the shit out of you from behind. The enemy. I will turn you into a beehive. That's right, I will turn you into a beehive, whatever that means. So what you wanna do is get on one side of him and just beat the shit out of him. Now, this will not work on all bosses in the game, trust me, especially flying bosses later on. But for right now, it does certainly work. Leave it up to me indeed. So, the third field is done. Excellent. Now go stop Rita. Her putty monsters are taking over the city. Naturally. Can I make it? Can I make it? Yes! Holy shit! I made it! It's a fucking miracle. Oh, great. Another one of these. <laughs> Didn't your mom teach you to call 911 for trouble? Wait, they don't have phones back then. Wait, what time is this exactly? What do I mean back then? They could be in the future for all I know. So who the hell raises this little kid while, like, the mom's... in a catatonic state here? What is going on? She makes her own dinner, makes her own breakfast, takes herself to school, walks home two miles up and down in snow and rain. There's a hill both ways. 
And right around Creek Bend Road, there's that little anaconda that... Did Roger just talk to himself? <laughs> what the... This game, man. Mommy! Mommy! Help! I've made steaks three nights in a row! I don't know what else to make! Filet mignon? So Rena figured out she has the power of healing, and I guess healed her mom back. And dinner was saved, as was her school route. The end. Let's continue with the story. That question mark is the story of this game's life, basically. No one knows what's going on. Would you stop asking what this is? You've already had two of these in your... I mean, you have two right in front of you. What is this? And we have one more field to go. I'm going to go ahead and exit this area. And go pester some people in town, probably. Alright, All right, we're outside of that goddamn zone. No more random battles. And I wanted to go ahead and test out blacksmithing with that magical rasp I bought in the last video. So let's turn on orchestra, of course. And let's use, uh, let's say a rune metal. Oh! Shit! I just wasted a baton! I've ruined everything! No, this is a fucking... Excuse me, this is a freaking... Restaurant. I want the, uh, here we go. Shut up and give me a smith's hammer, sir. Oh, and some blackberries, too. Thank you. Uh... Thank you. Where are the... Well, I could use some batons for orchestra. You don't have a smith's hammer?! Useless! Ah, we're back. Yeah, I just did check the shops. This place okay. sucks! Hopefully this place has the items I need. Let's see... Is this a restaurant? Yes. Alright, the tool shop should be up here, past this green-haired man. No, I already have a cinder, you idiot. <laughs> you can't see it outside? It's a giant blue thing. Fool! Smith's hammer, come to me. Smith's hammer? There we go, Smith's hammer. There we go. Alright, let's do this quickly here. There we go, blacksmith, and let's use a rune metal. Alright. What do I get? A mirage robe. Well. What the hell is this? This thing sucks! Oh. You know what, I'll try one more thing. Hurry! Hurry before the love of God, before the fucking music run- Did I do it? I think I did it! Yes! Alright, so we got this Palace Athena here, which is a shield, I believe. Who can use this? Now look at that. Wow. So that's just one of the many great items I can use with my blacksmithing and my magical rasp. Wait a second! You tricked me! I'm still weak against holy damage! Ah, whatever. That's fine. I'll see you guys next time. I am out.